sunny day and fresh snow, conditions that draw many deeper into the Sierra. What they may not know, especially if backcountry adventures are new, is that under that fresh layer of powder is a weak layer of unstable snow, making these peaks prime for an avalanche. Several have been reported just this week. And on Saturday, I'm guessing there was about a half a dozen people who were buried in avalanches um, and luckily no injuries or deaths are reported, but a lot of really scary close calls. Rescuers say in years past, the backcountry was populated by experienced adventurers, but because it's socially distant, beautiful and inexpensive, they're seeing that population change. Now we have a new, a new type of enthusiast, which is great. And they can go to a local store and, and buy all the equipment and, and not receive the training. But that training is crucial and life-saving. Approximately 30 people are killed by avalanches each year in the U.S. In just the last two weeks, four adventurers have died in Colorado. Rescuers fear with more interest in backcountry sports and less experience overall, that number could rise. Avalanche experts say if you're heading into the backcountry, you want to start in a big open area like this meadow. It's when you head into steeper terrain like what you see behind me that your chances of triggering an avalanche or getting in the way of an avalanche grow much greater. It's not like you ski at the resort, you know, it's a lot of stuff you have to be aware of. The owner of Whatabike in Myers says he's seeing double the interest this year in backcountry rentals. It's uh, more volume for sure, a lot more. Much of it from people like Dylan Harris, who just want to get out. If uh, it was normal times, I would probably be with my family somewhere else. You know, Rescuers not... and experts strongly recommend that first-timers take classes and always remember this. If we get out in the backcountry and you trigger an avalanche today, you should not be surprised. In the Sierra, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.